What's up, everybody? It's Dark Alliance Toys here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mythic Legion's Larian Guard. I think that's how you say it. This figure, once again, by the Four Horsemen. The figure is awesome. It's one of those few thing figures that does actually have a bio. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. But you could pause to read it, if so. But anyway, this is another great figure. We'll just get right into the articulation. I do have this without none of his accessories on. So first up here, there is a ball at the top of the head here. So you can look up, down, some nice tilt. And then you can swivel the arm, full rotation. Elbow goes up to there. Leg kicks out to there. And then... Again. I don't know if all Mythic Legion figure do that, but you can see they have a big old hand shear on the hips, so it just works nicely. And then... Right there. forward goes back and then there is a rocker as well All right. now this figure is super detailed like there is so much detail going on on this figure as you can see there is a soft goods long cough that has a wire so if you want to get some dynamic poses but then it also has a plastic loincloth at the bottom. I don't know if that's what this is called, like skirt piece or whatever you want to call it. I love the nice foresty green here on here. And then there's a nice, beautiful, like, rose, goldish, gold colors around here on the arms. Leather gauntlets, gloves. They look really, really good. They almost look like real leather. I don't know if you guys can see the the texture on there, but it looks fantastic. Anyone who has this figure will know what I'm talking about. Again, like more leather-esque boots. And then they got the uh, shin protectors right here. But it looks like they are strapped on. Just a nice little bit of detail. Same on the back, and then that gold goes all the way around. That rose goldy color just is all over the body. Even the chainmail is in that rose gold color. It just looks just looks awesome. And then there is the head that comes on the figure. Again, the helmet looks really good. I don't know what the technical term is, but if you get it just right, you can see. You won't be able to see it here, but you can see the eyes peering out at you. Nice, beautiful gold trimming around here as well. And you can, as you can see, you can move that up and down as you so wish. Again, it's another figure. Right, you can get it into the pose of your choosing. It's not like it's so dramatic. And it just works beautifully. Another this great. This figure is awesome. I want to buy more of these guys. I want to have like a squad of them. But there we go. Alright, we'll get into the accessories. Which might be some of my favorite parts of this figure. So, first up here. Shoulder pads. I feel like they're coming with every Mythic Legions figure at this point. Nice, beautiful detail in here again with the real golds and stuff. They're just their paint detailing on Mythic Legions figures is top notch. Some of the best I've ever seen. We do also have an alternate head as well. With the green eyes. 
looks awesome. And the helmet is slightly different as well. If you can see that. Looks really good though. Next up here we have this, is it, it's called a quiver. I hope I'm saying that right. Nice beautiful detailing here. Again with the gold. They are just matching with, with the rose gold and the gold. Looks really good. None of these arrows do come out. But they look good. You can see they have the green uh, back ends of them. I don't know what the technical term is. Ideally, I want it to sit right there. But, which I might be able to do with the alternate belt piece. I don't know if that works across a body like that, though. I'll have to play around and see. Next up here, we do have this sword. This is a gorgeous looking sword. Super ornate looking. Comes with the gold and then it has just a dash of like green jewels or something inside the blade. Or not the blade, the uh, handle. It's a decent sized sword too. It looks fantastic though. <clears throat> and probably my favorite accessory is this shield. This shield is fantastic. Look at the depth of that shield. So you also have the deer here with all the antlers around it. And then you have this like elvish looking design on the back. And then if you look, that is a separate piece. Obviously probably glued in. But then you have the... More, again, that it might be more of a bronzy color, actually. Bronzy. Bronze, and then the golds again. Just all matching up re together really, really nice. It's heavy, too. It's like a very hefty chunk of plastic. And then we have a bow with a retractable string does come with an arrow but I did break it it's super thin I'll show you I do have it still all together might be able to do like a scene with it like going through someone but you can see I broke the hip piece off it's super thin and fragile but so be it this looks fantastic and it's Again, a nice size as well. But for this guy, I haven't really figured out how I wanted to display him yet. Because he looks good no matter what. Not, I don't really want to like pop the torso and stuff. I don't want to break anything. Because I do want to see if I can get... Eh, maybe I can see if I can do this. I don't think that's going to be, yeah, it's not going to be stretchy enough to do that. I'll figure out something to do. But I think I'm just going to leave him as is for the time being. And then for comparison's sake, just because he's right there, here is what the Knights, the Dark Templar looks like. You can tell he is taller than the Zalarian Guard. But, looks really, really good. But I do not have too much more to say about this figure. Other than it's fantastic. It's a great looking figure. The hands are definitely not super soft. But you can get them to fit in the... Like that. Let's see if I can just mess around with this figure for a little bit more. Again, like what I've been doing with all the shields that come with this peg. Oh, 
put it in the hand like so. Twist it. You can tell the weight of it kind of brings it down just a little bit. It is a very, very heavy piece of plastic there. Kind of worried over time. Oh, whoops, I guess you guys probably didn't see any of that. But that looks really good. But I don't know how long that hand peg will last if it's going to just fall off. I don't think it will, but that looks really good. Bring in the sword just like that. Another fantastic addition to the Mythic Legions collection. That's making it... Oh, I don't know how many figures I have now. But I do have more on the way. I definitely am excited for the figures that I have coming in. And then the next figure we're taking a look at might be my figure of the year. But I'm biased. I'm very biased towards it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.